Well hello there and welcome to the final section. We've been through some fun times over the previous five sections. We've gone from introducing CSS preprocessors right through to building our own mixins and tools. How awesome is that? In our final section, we're going to start stepping away from less and investigate some other tools or functions that may really help with your front end coding. We're going to power up your front end toolkit. We want to make you lean, mean and efficient. Let's get cracking. Now for the first video, we're going to be talking about task runners. Yes, 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 I know. We've already covered task runners back in section two, but they really are super handy for languages like less, SAS, CoffeeScript and the like. So we'll take a brief overview of task runners again. We'll look at some essential plugins and hopefully by the end of the video, you won't need to hear me talk about how awesome task runners are because you'll already know. Ha! So what is a task runner? A task runner is a tool that sits in the background and waits for a task that needs doing. Task runners get rid of the boring, monotonous tasks that we often end up doing ourselves. We saw back in section two how we could install the less plugin and then configure the task runner to watch our files and when changes are made, produce minified files, compile our less to CSS and more. They really are awesome at getting stuff done in the background and quickly too. I urge you to give them a go. There are several task runners available. We've looked at Grunt and we've looked at Gulp. As with anything that features or allows plugins, there will always be an ultimate essential list of plugins you need to be using. First off, you want to be using our less plugin to convert your less into CSS. That's a no brainer. And hopefully that's already configured from when you completed section two. If not, it's probably a good idea to head back to that section and follow the tutorial there. The next one worth looking at is Watch. Watch allows your task runner to keep an eye on your files and when one of the specified files changes, your task runner will attempt to complete the task set. Next up is Image Min, an excellent plugin that allows you to compress your images down and reduce the overall file size and load time. We all know in this day and age, a slow website doesn't really give your readers what they require. Speaking of compression, You'll also want to use your task runner for minification of your CSS and JS. Sadly, there isn't one plugin to rule them all, so you'll need to look at at least two. Uglify will gladly take care of your JavaScript files and CSS min will look after minifying your CSS once they've been compiled. Concat is a great plugin, useful for combining multiple files in JavaScript or CSS. Whilst developing websites, it's often easy to break our CSS or JS down into smaller files. We've spoken about it already. Keeping multiple files keeps us more organized as we know where colors are kept, where to look for typography, mixings, variables, that sort of thing. However, when it comes to production, we want to reduce the amount of files to keep network requests low and our speeds high. Concat helps to concatenate all of our JS and CSS into their own specific singular files. So there are some essential plugins for your task runner to help keep your workflow efficient. We've gone from you having to do all the hard work to now your task runner doing it for you. It can compile your lessons to CSS. It can minify your CSS and JavaScript and then join them all together for production use. It can also compress your images so they don't add extra unnecessary weight to your build. These should see you well on your way to making your web development life much, much easier. 